Stormview Doppler 9, all of our counties here in our viewing area shaping up great this evening. No rain, no thunderstorms. Some of the higher clouds from the storms in Nebraska moving into northwest Missouri and northeast Kansas. These were the storms I was talking about earlier. Now a severe thunderstorm warning with that cell right there north and east of North Platte, north of Interstate 80. These storms will continue to slide to the south and east, possibly reaching our northwest part of our viewing area. That'd be Maryville, St. Joe, and Leavenworth. By about 9, 10 o'clock this evening. But I think they're going to lose a lot of their punch before they arrive here. So organized severe weather tonight, not expected. Rain chances over the next three days, kind of splash and dash thunderstorms. The highest chance of seeing rain and thunderstorm activity will be tomorrow night into very early Friday morning. Friday afternoon looks dry and sunny. Depending how quick the cloud cover clears on Friday afternoon, it could be a barn burner. Heading into the weekend, the chance of rain and thunderstorms remains low. At about 20 percent. Future scan taking us into tomorrow morning, showing those showers, possibly a thunderstorm moving into Kansas City by 6:30, 7 o'clock in the morning. I think most of the activity will remain to our west in eastern Kansas. And then during the afternoon, the clouds clear, the temperatures climb, and we may see a pop-up shower or thunderstorm late in the day. But most of us will be dry. For Thursday, low temperatures for tonight with a few storms dropping down into the low in mid 60s across the area. 64 in St. Joe, 62 in Belton, Paola at 63 degrees. Tomorrow afternoon, highs climbing into the mid and upper 80s. For Friday, we'll be back up into the 90s, and it could be much warmer than that because, unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier, I think the humidity comes back for the weekend. Now we're talking fuel like temperatures. Much warmer than the actual air temperature. 65 degrees for the morning drive tomorrow with a shower storm possible. 81 degrees with a partly sunny sky in place for lunch. And driving home tomorrow evening, those storms arriving after the rush. So the rush will be dry. 86 degrees for an afternoon high. 7 o'clock, first pitch here for the Royals game. 82 degrees, partly sunny. I think we're still dry through much of the game, but by the seventh inning, we'll be watching for the development of showers and thunderstorms. Over the next seven days, taking you into the weekend, there's the highest chance of rain and storms. That arrives Thursday night into Friday morning. And then notice, here come the 90s back. Here comes the humidity. But I got to tell you, 90 has been a tough mark to reach here in Kansas City. We've only reached that mark three times through the entire year so far. But we do have them in the forecast for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And as I mentioned, unfortunately, the humidity comes back. But guess what? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, big area of low pressure sets up over the Great Lakes. That type of a pattern usually keeps us in a northerly flow. So we have cool, dry air coming into the area. So maybe highs in the 70s by next Wednesday what? and Thursday. God. I know.